Welcome back to Reptiles Uncaged. Today we're going to touch on brown and O's versus green and O's. Which one do you think is more dominant? By the end of this video, you will know. We got a couple other interesting clips for you guys too. The first clip that I want to show you guys today, we got this female. She spots a beetle. And then another lizard spots the beetle too, but she grabs it first. And now this lizard is just going to tailgate her. I've never seen a chase this long. I've seen lizards chase each other for prey, but it normally stops after a few seconds. This anole that's doing the chasing today in this clip is extremely determined. I assumed that the chase was over right here, so I was just going to film her swallowing her beetle. But when she looked down like this, I knew it wasn't over. While we're watching this chase, I want to bring up a topic that a lot of people in the reptile community talk about. Brown anoles versus green anoles. Before we get further into this video, I want to know, based off the information you have, which species do you think is more dominant, the brown anoles or the green anoles? If you've looked into the topic of invasive brown anoles in Florida versus the green anoles, you would know. A lot of people have made up their mind that a certain one of those species are more dominant. But we're going to find out the truth in this video. Watch the anole to the left right here. It starts smacking its lips. Its mouth is watering for the other anole's beetle. Both of these lizards that you guys see are part of a small colony that live together in this one plant right here. They have the choice to roam the entire garden, but they choose to stay here in this one plant because it has everything they need. If they need food, they can go to the bottom of the plant for insects. They have a nice heat bulb right there that gets really warm. And then when they need to drink, they drink water from the leaves. That thin green anole that you guys see to the bottom left, he has the same opportunity as all the other anoles to hunt and grow healthy, but he was too used to being in a cage and he didn't adapt as well as the others. The chase didn't even end here, even after I finished filming, it kept chasing. But I want to show you guys something interesting that I saw earlier. I walked into the garden and I saw Zim in Thor's territory. In the recent feeding video we put out, I mentioned that Zim just may take over Thor's territory because he's eating, he's getting bigger, and he's confident. Right here, it looks like Zim may have won right there. Thor looked submissive. But I came and I scared Zim away. And then Thor got a burst of confidence right here. And it looked like Zim might have wanted to take this battle, but he wasn't ready. But the day is coming when Zim is going to challenge him and they'll have to battle for the territory. And if Thor doesn't win, he'll lose it. Next up, we got anolesanals.org. They claim that green anoles retreat from brown anoles. I'll leave a link to the article in the description below if you want to check it out. That's actually a very popular opinion. I want to show you guys this news clip that I found about the invasive brown anoles versus native green anoles. We were out catching greens and suddenly the greens are not that common. Simon Liveau is a biologist at the University of New Orleans and we met him uptown where he was catching lizards to study their genetics. And he tells us green anoles, the more scientific name, have existed in North America for six million years. But the brown species, which is native to Cuba and the Caribbean, were introduced here through trade. While some worry the native species is being driven out, Livo says they're more so being driven up. When browns are present, um, the greens contract their range and they move higher up into the tree. So the question is, do brown anoles actually bully green anoles? I found this gem of a YouTube video on a channel called Top of the Palm. Shout out to them. There's a green anole to the left and then two brown anoles. This green anole wants that territory. And already, right off the back, one brown anole retreats. Now, in my recent video that I did, I mentioned how the green anole was the aggressor. Browns are more aggressive with other brown anoles within their own species. But mixed species situations like this, the greens are the aggressors. Brown anole lizards are more aggressive and also a lot quicker in combat than green anole lizards. But the green anole lizard's mouth is a lot larger than a brown anole's mouth. Therefore the green anole has the advantage when these two species go at it. Over here at Reptiles on Cage, we get our information from hours and hours of observation of these reptiles, just simply observing them behave naturally. In that territorial lizard documentary you guys just saw a clip of, we mentioned that brown anoles curl their tails when they're in fear. And I want you guys to watch this brown anole's tail when he's facing this green anole. Mm -hmm. 
out of this green and all and this brown and all the green and all is the dominant one the brown and all is going to retreat and run away but this isn't the first time that i've saw a situation like this happen where the green and all is dominant over the brown and all i've seen it multiple times but if this wasn't enough for you i have one more clip that i want to show you guys and it's probably the most shocking clip that i've seen from a green and all we have a green and all having a territorial dispute with the lizard that has to be about four times its size. Shout out to the YouTube channel Steve and Jenny for documenting this. If you're like me, when you first see this video, you see this small green and all and that large lizard right there. You're kind of worried for the green and all because it's so small compared to the other lizard. But just watch. I have green and O's over brown and O's any and every day of the week. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section. In the last video, I asked you guys for names for the dominant brown and O in Thor's territory. We're going to go with Carnage. Shout out to Clyde. This is Thor's territory right here. And in Thor's territory is the dominant brown and O of the area. So we have a dominant green and O in this area and a dominant brown and O. So the green and O's and the brown and O's in the garden are friendly with each other. We haven't saw any cross species aggression so far. Here we go. We got Invader Zim at the top. He's at it again. We're going to see Zim coming in from his territory to the right. And he's actually in pursuit of this male in front of him. This and all was just getting chased by Invader Zen. We can just put that in a tree whenever we want to. See you guys, they love the cabbage. Look at how many mealworms are attached to it. People have asked how we're gonna make sure the knolls that we like aren't gonna get eaten. And we're going to be rehoming the anoles that we don't want to see get eaten. You guys will get a chance to become the new owner of reptiles you've seen on the channel. Links to more interesting videos like this one will be in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next one.